Hi Aquarius, welcome to your Spirit Guide messages for June. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Aquarius, we're going to take a look at what Spirit wants you to know right now. We're going to take three oracles from each deck, three different messages clarified with tarot. Please only take the message you feel resonate for you. Every single message may not be for you. We could get a lot of different messages, just a few, one, one big cohesive message, depending how this plays out. So again, please only take it how it resonates for you. This is a general collective reading. It's not a private reading, but if you would like a private reading, all that information is down below in the description box, so please feel free to check that out. Lots of stuff down there, so, so I hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So let's see what Spirit has for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female, general collective at this time for Aquarius. And if you're new and like to check out my channel, please feel free. I offer a lot of different kind of readings every month for every sign, about four or five readings a month. So check it out, like what you see, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell, you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you and welcome to the family. So let's get three. We sort of had to have a uh, mystical, mythical theme this month. We have the fairies, we have the dolphins and the uh, mermaids, and then we have the unicorns. So let's see what we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. For Aquarius, three most important messages for Aquarius at this time. Show me what I need to see. For Aquarius, what do they need to know? For Aquarius. Let's get some unicorns. Decks are also listed below if you're interested in what decks I'm using. That information is down below also. For Aquarius at this time, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Three most important messages for Aquarius. What do they need to know? All right, this one definitely almost wanted to fly out. One more. One more. Oh, that's oh, this one. All righty. Let's see what we have for you from the fairies for Aquarius. We have stand your ground. So this is you needing to defend yourself, stand your stance, <laughs> take your stance, stand your ground, defend yourself, um, be true to your beliefs and who you are, um, your morals, your values. Don't let anyone walk all over you kind of energy. And financial flow. So financial flow could be coming in if you've been a little bit worried about that. So that's a good energy. And we have problem resolved. I just got um, this card for Capricorn. And I got financial flow for Leo. So a lot of repeating cards coming out. So problem resolved. So by standing your ground, you may have some sort of financial flow coming in that may resolve a problem. So that could be one cohesive message for someone or these could be three separate messages. So we get into the tarot, we'll see more. So let's see what the mermaids have to say. Yes, your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. So whatever um, you've been wondering about, trying to trust your intuition or trying to make a decision, or you've had a feeling about something, um, the answer is yes. So take action according to how you're thinking, feeling, um, however you're being being guide, guided and led to do so. And we have stay optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. So stay positive energy. Uh, the dream is coming. Whatever that is, whatever you've been hoping for, dreaming for, uh, something is going to happen in your favor here. So it's telling you to stay in that high vibration, to stay positive. Blessed change, a major life change brings you great blessings. So, and this could have to do with needing to stay optimistic in this yes. So if you've been waiting for a change or um, you know a change is coming or you're trying to make a change, stay positive because the answer is yes. So we'll see how uh, those energies play out when we get into the tarot. So the unicorns, we have simplicity. Put your energy into the basics and let go of excess. So this is telling you to simplify your life. Um, don't overindulge. Don't um, 
do all those extra things you don't really need. It's time to, and we're all kind of in that energy right now anyway, uh, living kind of like a simple life. Those are kind of quarantine, staying at home. So this is telling you to try, just, you know, try to keep it simple. Let go of excess, and we have love from your parents. No matter what, your mother and father love you as much as they can. So for some of you, I got just got this card. I forgot for what sign, but I'm feeling your message a little different with this sign. Like maybe your parents, maybe they weren't always the best, or maybe they weren't always there for you, or maybe uh, they didn't always have the advice you needed or the help you needed. But I think... Um, whether it was poor, you know, education or how they were raised or whatever that situation was, just know they always did and tried the best they could, the best that they knew how to understand that. Because it does say in here, no matter what, your mother and father love you as much as they can and as best they can and as best as they knew how. Whether they're still here or, or if they've um, transitioned, know that. You know, maybe you led a very simple life and maybe you always wished for more and maybe they couldn't give you that. Maybe they couldn't give you that life like maybe you see other other that you've seen like other kids had and maybe you resented them for it. But I feel here they always did and tried to do the best they could. So I see a very loving, protective energy here. So, so that makes sense for anybody. So we have here, you are gifted, you are very intelligent and talented. So it's telling you here that um, it's time to use your gifts for good and your intelligence. Spirit wants you to know that. Maybe time to uh, share that gift with the world in some way, shape, or form, whatever that is for you. If it's a talent, you know, if it's a musical talent, you know, singing, dancing, writing, or something in the arts, maybe it's time to go for that and share that energy. Or some of you intelligence, I'm getting maybe even, you know, if you've been wanting to write a book or, you know, be a mentor or something like that. Um, to share, you know, your intelligence, what you know, maybe could help others. All right, so let's see what we have. What is the stand your ground for Aquarius, please? Let's clarify all this energy for Aquarius at this time. Oh, that's way too many. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Jupiter, male, female, general collective. All right. Let's see what we have here. Stand your ground. So we have the Four of Cups and the Princess of Wands. So this is the Page of Wands, the Four of Cups. So I feel here, you know, the Page of Wands is about communication, being fiery, passionate kind of energy. So I feel like when there's been times, sorry, times when you've needed to stand your ground and you didn't, and then you kind of regretted not saying anything or standing your ground, but this is that fiery, passionate energy of communication. You know, they can always consider this, you know, good news or an offer coming in or something like that or opportunity, but I take this as, you know, maybe being in the energy of why did I not say something? Why did I not stand my ground? And here is the energy of actually taking all your fire and passion that you've been holding back and actually communicating that. So energy is here, and this is fire and passion, which is kind of reminds me of that um, stand your ground energy. So that's what I'm feeling with that. When you hold back and when you don't say anything or stand your ground when you should, Spirit is saying you need to. So let's see what uh, this financial flow is about for you Aquarius. Aquarius, and, you know, and that could uh, pertain to anything, anything, anytime, any situation where, you know, you maybe you're afraid to, you know, ruffle feathers or, you know, whatever the situation, or you may feel like, you know, oh, people will think I'm stupid or, you know, whatever here, it doesn't matter. Yeah, Ace of Swords, truth, clarity, it's telling it like it is. So let's see what this financial flow is for... Aquarius. What is this financial flow for Aquarius? So we got the Five of Cups and we got the Sun. So if your finances have been kind of like not so great lately and you've been kind of uh, struggling here with the Five of Cups, this is about, you know, uh, loss. So if you've had financial loss or struggles, you know, it's a sadness, regret or remorse or hurt or whatever here. 
but you do have the sun shining here. So, and we have the sun energy here. So we do have, you know, happiness, joy, success, victory in every single way, um, enlightenment, healing, growth, expansion. So it is coming here. So whatever you've been hurt, sad about, last, uh, lack, loss, regret, remorse about something with your finances, work, career, we do have uh, better energy coming in here with the sun. It's the best, best card to get. So I do see things getting better uh, in your finances. And spare, I want you to know that. Growth, expansion. All right. It has, if it has to do something with children, um, I just see things getting better all the way around. All right, so what is this problem resolved about for Aquarius? Problem resolved for Aquarius. We have, wow, the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Cups. So the Seven of Cups can talk about disillusionment, options, choices, uh, confusion. But, you know, not, choose, not knowing what cup to choose, and now we've chosen the cup. So, I mean, this could pertain to love. You know, if there's been a quarrel or a disagreement or a situation in your, you know, love relationship, or it doesn't even have to be a lover. It can be, you know, close family or friends, someone you love dearly. There's been, you know, a disagreement, argument, or something very confusing. But now we have total, you know, problem resolved. So whatever the problems were, they're resolved. And now we have peace, happiness, joy, peaceful resolutions in every single way with the Ace of Cups. So now we're back to that energy of being loving, compassionate, caring, nurturing, uh, at peace and harmony, joy, happiness kind of energy. So it's a good energy. So I do see problems resolved, and then we're back to peace, happiness, and joy. So it's a good energy. It could be with a lover. It could be with anybody. All right. So let's see. So only you know what that, if, you know, if you're going through a major problem right now. Uh, in life, I do see uh, it being resolved and then being like really overflowing with happiness and just contentment and peace and harmony and fulfillment. So let's see, what is, I didn't ask yet. So what is this? Yes, your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. So what is this about for Aquarius, please? Okay, so we have the Five of Wands and we have the world. So if there's been disagreements, uh, conflict around you, um, again, it could be family, friends, co-workers, any, anything here. There's been a lot of conflict, arguments, fights, or disagreements. And, you know, the world here can be about closing chapters and cycles, closing something out here, uh, and starting fresh, starting new. So if your intuition is telling you, gee, you know, I'm tired of this fighting, this conflict, you know, the world can be about closure and ending something and then starting over, starting fresh, starting new. So, I mean, yes, you could end this conflict by closing this out and starting fresh over and new or try to, you know, close out and get closure and like restart. So some of you I see like ending this conflict like for good and some of you trying to heal it and restart it and start over. So whatever your intuition is telling you, because you see the intuition here, um, nothing good will come of this. And, you know, I've been thinking about, I need to just end this. is too much fighting, arguing, competition, conflict, whatever here. It's not going anywhere. It's just, you know, it's like just fighting for nothing. And it's time just to end it and move on. Then some of you probably need to do that. Some may, maybe you, some of you are even moving physically moving or traveling or something like that, however that means for you. Or some of you could try to uh, just gain closure, maybe start fresh and new in the situation and see if we can like restart it uh, in a new way. But whatever your intuition is telling you to do, um, that is correct for you to take action accordingly. So however that means for you. But I don't, let's get one more on that because I'm feeling kind of like iffy about that. So what are we doing here? The moon. So, yeah, somebody could have had secrets, caused a lot of uh, conflict or arguing or fighting here. Uh, disillusionment, not seeing the path clearly. Things come to light. Fear, deep feelings about something. 
What else? Eight of Pentacles. So some of you may try to work on it, or it could be a work situation. So Eight of Pentacles is about putting in the work, and some of you will manifest a brand new beginning elsewhere, leaving this argument, fighting, conflict behind. So I do see the Magician is about manifesting something new, and the Eight of Pentacles is about putting in the work and the effort. And that could be into something new. So I just feel like some of you, whatever your intuition is calling you to do to end something for good, follow that. Um, and some trying to work on it, work it out, follow that. However, uh, if you think it can be salvaged, salvage, then salvage it. If you can't, or if you don't think it can be, then maybe it's not worth it. So however that resonates for you. So stay optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. What is that for Aquarius? Some kind of miracle coming in. So we have the Four of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. So the Four of Swords is about, you know, thinking, con we're thinking, contemplating about something here. But Three of Pentacles here is about, could be learning something new, working together, teamwork, collaboration. I feel like this is like, the energy, like the uh, <laughs> divine wheels of heaven, like working behind the scenes where you can't see it to bring in this miracle for you. So to stay optimistic, because all these wheels are turning for you, divine is working its magic to bring in, like almost like a time machine, <laughs> like to bring in this miracle for you. And you're just like in this energy of like thinking and contemplating and like I'm not seeing anything happening here. Just like this person is just kind of sitting there waiting and waiting. So while you're waiting and contemplating, I don't know what to do here. If I should quit or give up, maybe you've taken a little break, but things are working behind the scenes here for you. And we'll be working on something new. It could be collaborating with others, teamwork, uh, or something like that. So stay optimistic about that. I see things working behind the scenes for you, like it says there. Yeah, that will lead you to total wealth, abundance, being successful, abundant, independent, taking care of yourself, having everything you need, all the resources you need to be independent. Okay, so blessed change, a major life change brings you great blessings. And there's, there's the change right there. I can't make this up, the wheel of fortune. This is divine timing, fate, destiny, things going in the right direction, things getting better for you. This is a major life change right here, the wheel of fortune. That will bring in you bring you in great great blessings. So this is the change, whatever that means for you, whatever change you've been trying to make, or your change you're going through, or um, you know a change is coming, or something has to change. There's a change and things going in a better direction. It's fate. It's destiny meant for you. I don't even think I'm gonna pull another one on that because that's great energy right there. So we have simplicity, put your energy into the basics and let go of excess. What is that about for Aquarius? So we have the Ten of Cups and the Queen of Swords. So here's the Ten of Cups, it's a happy home and family, uh, fulfillment in every single way. So this could be, you know, just a simple home life. Like I had said, and the Queen of Swords can be, um, you know, that's an energy of cutting out things no longer serving you. You can use that sword. And cut away things no longer serving you. So, yeah, cutting out the excess and just concentrating on what brings you happiness, joy, and fulfillment. And having truth and clarity here. And I had spoke of, like, parental energy. Maybe that, you know, you had a very sim simple life and you always wished to hope for more. I mean, the Queen of Swords can be, like, a parental figure. King or Queen. Also... So let's see. And I do think in the Ten of Cups here, they're trying to give you fulfillment as best they could in life. I think they only had what they had. All right. Wow. What's, okay. So what is this love, your, uh, love from your parents? No matter what, your mother and father love you as much as they can. So let's get one more. More Aquarius. So we have the Princess and the Prince of Swords. So this is the Knight of Swords, and this is the Page of Cups. So the Prince of Swords is about taking action. It's fast, it's quick, it's swift. Um, someone that takes action accordingly. So I feel like your parents did everything they could um, 
you know, they took action in every way, shape, form they could. Uh, they did what they could. You know, they took every opportunity. They, you know, they took action in every single way to give you the best. Because this is um, Page of Cups. <coughs> Sorry, I need a sip of water. Here comes my kitty. So the Princess of Cups here is that loving communication. Could be apologizing too. You know, like I'm sorry, did my best. I give you, give you, gave you everything I thought that I could give you. Sorry, I couldn't give you more. <coughs> sorry, but very loving, loving, affectionate energy, and I feel like parents that did everything they could. <coughs> oh, sorry. So we're almost done here. So what is this you are gifted about for Aquarius? You are very intelligent and talented. What is that about for Aquarius, please, Spirit? Thank you so much. What is this gifted about for Aquarius? All right, feeling these. So we have the Two of Wands. We have the King of Wands. King or Queen, doesn't matter. And then we have the Prince of Cups, the Knight of Cups. So the two wands about being at a crossroads. So you may be about you may be at a crossroads about making a decision about whether or not to use your gifts in the way you want to use them, whatever they are for you. What path do I go down? Do I use my gifts in the way that I want and go down this path that I want to take? Or do I just stay on the same path that I'm on? So and this is about you know making plans, decisions for the future, but being kind of stuck at a crossroads. <coughs> Sorry. Then we have the King of Wands, very fiery, passionate energy, go-getter energy. They go after what they want, drive ambition. Prince of Cups, so taking action, coming from a very loving, caring, nurturing, giving place, compassionate place. So I feel like this could be something you're very passionate about, you feel very passionate about, you you do it, want to do it from a loving, caring, nurturing place, from the heart, but yet you're at a crossroads here, like, I don't know what to do here. Should I do this? Should I not do this? I just don't know. So we have the energy here of you being at the crossroads and wanting to do it, to take that action from a good place, feeling very passionate about it. And Spirit wants you to know you do have the gifts to do this. So let's see. Let's get a few more for you. Oops, that one on the floor. So we have the hangman in reverse, so that's good energy. So this is about, you thought about it, you reflected, you gained new perspectives. You you know, you took the time that you needed to gain enlightenment, but now we're in reverse, so now we're going to get up and take action because we're kind of stuck in the tree this way. But this way, now we're getting unstuck. Now we're ready to take action. So I feel like here, Spirit wants you to say to take action and um, <clears throat> don't keep yourself hung to that tree <laughs> to use your gifts for good. Because you do have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is being stable, grounded, secure, practical, and wise. You do have the strength and courage to do this. And the mental clarity to do this also. Okay, Aquarius. <laughs> Best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.